Okay, wait, so... This is a murder weapon? That directs traffic? What kind of freaky city is this? Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider Drive DX Shingo Axe. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is. You have the Shingo Axe. There you have Common Rider Chaser. There you have his signal bike. There you have the mock driver. On this side of the box, we get a nice picture there of Chaser, looking really cool. On the other side of the box, another picture of Chaser. On the bottom of the box, another picture of Chaser and what you get in the box. On the back of the box, you get your obligatory product shots, does this, that, the other, all that good stuff. And of course, that Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, here we have the Shingo Axe, or the Signal Axe, whatever you want to call it, either way it's right, really, you know, let's not argue over English, but, um, here is the Shingo Axe, the main weapon of Kamen Rider Chaser. Now, uh, spoilers, if, you, if you're not caught up on Drive yet, spoilers, um, basically, uh, Chase... Uh, who is Machine Chaser, uh, comes to the realization that he was a proto-drive, and that his original intention was to protect humans and not harm them. And he comes to this realization thanks to Kiriko, and uh, he basically comes over to the good guy's side and gets a whole new form. He gets a signal bike and a brand new weapon, a new suit, and all that good stuff. So now Chase is a good guy. Yay for good guys. So, there we go. And again, this is his main weapon, but we'll get to this in a little bit. First thing we will look at is his signal bike. This is Signal Chaser, and this is made to look like his motorcycle, the, uh, the Ride Chaser. And very cool looking signal bike. You can see here, nice, nice Bandai Silver right here up front on the skull. Nicely molded, too, for being so small. Very nicely molded skull right there. Nice design. And you get some nice metallic purple details. Flames on the side. There you get the writer logo right there on the back wheel. So, very, very nice. On the other side, you just get the uh, the part that goes into the various toys. And it does actually roll. Yay! It rolls quite nicely. You get a little bit of silver right here on the side. So, we will get into what this bike does in our other toy. So let's get right down to it. Let's get down here to a lower level. And we will bring in the mock driver. Mock driver! Now this is the belt that he uses to engine now, so we will get right down to it. Henshin! So you get a new standby noise that we can dance to. Oh, sorry. There you go. You've mentioned into Kamen Rider Chesa. Very cool little guitar riff going on there. So now we'll do our attack. And there you have that. And the Hisats. And there you go. Thank you. So there you have the noises it makes in the mock driver. And next up, we will bring in Belt Sun. 
So we can hear what it does in the drive driver. And as always, you can see everything that's happening on the screen clearly. I have to turn off the fluorescent lights above, so clap off! All right, the fluorescents are off, so let's just turn on belt sun. Oh, they're started. They're started. All right, so let's see what this does in the drive driver. And as always, everything starts with a turn of the key. You get type get next. Okay. And of course, you can actually shift with the signal bike, so there's just a he sucks. And there you go. That's all you get with the drive driver. Thank you, belt song. So nice. So there we have the noises it makes in the drive driver. So let's just cut the lights back on. So clap on. Okay, so now that the fluorescents are back on, let's bring in this guy right here. Break your body. Oh yeah. So let's see what this does in the brake gunner. It does nothing! <laughs> Just the, ge the generic noise. No execution. I really thought this was going to make a new noise in the brake gunner. That was legit disappointing. <laughs> it's his... it's his signal bike. What? It, it should make a new noise in there, but... Oh. It is what it is. Then, last but not least, let's bring in the trailer. Oh! Where's the button? Shift the trailer. Oh. There we go. So now let's plug this into the trailer. Ho! Oh. Chase off. Oh. Chase off. Oh. Pull the trigger. So you get that, and we'll do our finisher. And we'll use some viral cores for this. Pull trigger. And there you have it. So there you have the noises that it makes in our other toy. So now for the main event, the Signal X itself. Now let's get in close here so you can see the details. Lots of nice molded in details and also a lot of that Bandai silver going on here. Just really, really, a, a really good looking piece here. Very nicely done. You got this sticker here. Again, I can't read Japanese, so I have no idea what that says. But if you do know what that says, please let me know, because I like to know what these things say. Um, but again, lots of nice Bandai silver. Nice purple. Of course, the blade, the X blade itself is a softish plastic. But just all around a very nice uh, color motif. Obviously, it's the brake gunner motif, so it, they, they make a nice set. It's a very lovely set. It's a pretty set. Look at that. That's, that's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous set, but um, very nice, and even more of that Bandai Silver on the back as well, so very, very cool, very, very nicely done, and obviously this is made to look like a, uh, a traffic light, so you have your red light, your green light, no yellow light, apparently, there is no yellow lights, it's called you either stop or you go, there is no in between, but yeah, it is made to uh, look like a, a traffic light, and down here you have the button, you know, for pedestrians, you're supposed to push this button and the light will turn green so you can cross the street, but in Philadelphia, these buttons never work. Don't know why, but... <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, still. A cool looking weapon. Obviously, it is it is very small, much smaller than the one on the show. Um, as far as being an axe goes, I mean, it's still a nice size for being an axe. So, it works, but obviously it's not the giant hulking weapon that Chaser has to hold with two hands. I mean, this thing is, is pretty dinky compared to what he actually has on the show. But again, a kid's toy, so, duh, it's going to be smaller. But, um... Still pretty cool. So let's get right down to the noises. Your on-off switch is right here. So we'll just turn it on and you get... Shingo Ox! Shingo Ox! And you get LEDs right here, here, and right here. So you have a trigger right here. Pull that and you get... A slashing noise. It, you only get one slashing noise. You can rapid fire it. And that's basically it. That's... That's all you get without a signal bike in there. You can push this button. Get a little standby jingle there. And pull the trigger. There you get a stronger attack noise. So, yeah, as you can see, when you push this button... It'll tell you to wait, and then it'll tell you to go. That's basically what it's saying. So, the only thing left to do is the... Well, actually, there's a little more we can do, but first thing we'll do is our finishing move, our hisats. So, we'll just plug in the signal bike. And you get that. And to initiate the attack, push the red button. And pull the trigger. And there you go. Now with a signal bike in there, you can push the uh, trigger again. You do get a stronger attack. And you can do this up to five times, and you will get five explosions. So if I do it five times... So that's really cool, and it will actually respond to how you how you push the button. It will react in time to how you push the button. So if I do it like this, that didn't really work well. Let me try it again. <laughs> there we go. So you see, it does react in time to how you push the button. So that's kind of a cool little feature. And that's basically it. That's all the Signal Axe does. Um, oh, and of course, I forgot to mention this. Now the Signal Bike is locked in here to remove it. And there is a button right there. Push that. You can pull out your Signal Bike. But um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, there is no reader in this. There is no reader. All the signal bike does is push this. You can see in here, it just pushes this white button. That's all it does. So you can plug in a signal bike, a shift car, a viral cord. It does not matter. It will make the exact same noise. So, again, you know, like the other uh, role play toys in this line. A little limited in what it can do, but it's still it's it's still a neat toy. I like the the gimmick of just having a giant traffic light axe weapon. Again, you gotta love the imagination in Japan. You gotta give them at least that much. <laughs> they know how to come up with some just off the wall ideas for for their shows. So I I I love them for it because they come up with some really cool stuff. Really weird wild, wacky, cool stuff. So, again, if this interests you in any way, by all means, pick it up. It's it's a fun little toy. Again, it's limited in what it can do, but it's still just, it's a cool concept, and I do like the gimmick of it. So, that is pretty much 
it for this. And if you would like any Common Rider merchandise, BigBadToyStore.com does have a selection of Common Rider toys, so do check them out. There will be a link in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much it. It's so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Common Rider Drive DX Shingo X. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Pull me in your face.